Welcome back to another series of Cloud Jockey and Me, deploying vSphere for data protection. So we're going to browse for the OVA as a start. vSphere Data Protection 6.0, that OVA is the file. We're going to look at the specs, accept the EULA, and then we are going to select our data center. We want to deploy VDP in and I quickly renamed it to VDP just for the sake of shortness. In the virtual disk format I'm going to for thin provisioning. A reason being it's a test environment and I choose the NFS data store as my target data store. Remember uh, thin provisioning is not good for productive use and not recommended. Then I select the VM network as my network. Then I have to tell where the default gateway, uh, the DNS server, the IP addresses that I want for VDP and its network mask accordingly. Very important here is that you need to update your DNS entry for reverse and forward lookup zones. So please put it in, otherwise um, it won't work later on when you start to deploy VDP. We power it on after deployment, quickly go through the specs and hit finish. This process now is going to be fast forwarded. It takes a little time um, for the OVA to actually deploy, uh, but that's not very interesting. Hence, I fast forwarded it, then I actually browse for my virtual machine after the job is completed and I click on summary to be able to launch the remote console. In the remote console I get an information on a new URL and I browse through that URL via a new browser window and I put in the appliance credential which are root and the password is change me all lowercase letters very important then I quickly go through the network setting and actually fill in the blanks the host name VDP cloudjockey.local is the domain very importantly here and intentionally shown as an error is that the DNS could not be resolved so at this stage late, latest please go to your DNS domain server and update the records accordingly. Next I'm going to choose the corresponding time zone. I live in Europe close to Zurich so that's what I'm going to choose. Then the VDP credential you have to follow the guidelines that are outlined above to choose your password and if it's all good it will tell it with a green check mark. Then you have to register your VDP appliance with vCenter. So you put in vCenter, it's uh, your vCenter credential. It's very important to also know that vCenter 5.5 and 6.0 both work for VDP 6.0. And from the ESX server perspective, it's 5.1, 5.5, and 6.0 according to the manual. So here I test the connection. And as you can shortly see, it will come back with a new error. And this is the vCenter username. It's administrator at cloudjockey.local. This is for the sake of the single sign-on. Test the connection again. It's good now. Next is about to create the storage. And here I'm going to choose for thin provisioning because for the sake of the demo, it's good. And this is the data store that you are going to select here are the ones that have the backup data and the metadata for the backups stored inside. And you can actually choose um, the size of your backup data stores, which ranges from 500 gigabytes to 8 terabytes. For what, Choose whatever suits your need best. And then you can actually select the data stores and move on and you are ready to complete. You can do performance analysis, good for productive use, not so much if you're just testing like me. And then it takes some time to complete. The process is also fast forwarded and 
you need to re-log into your vCenter in order to see the plugin, which is vSphere Data Protection. That's what, where I'm in now. There are a few tabs, as you can see, with backup, restore, replication, and configuration being the most important ones. So back to backup, I actually intend to do my first backup job now, so I'm going to click New. I say I want to have a guest image backup. I do a full image backup. I choose the VM that I want to backup. In my case, it's a DNS server, which is a Windows 2012 server. So I'm going to select it, hit Next, and then I choose um, a backup schedule. For me, weekly is perfectly fine, as there are not many changes in my DN on my DNS servers that are going to occur. And I choose a retention policy according to my need, and I give the job a name that I can refer to later, and I know what it is. So in my case, I call it DNS Server Backup Dash Weekly. So I know it's a weekly backup of my DNS server. And I hit finish. It takes a while and then your first backup job will be listed. Okay, it's created successfully. So now I'm going to select it and I say backup now as I want to do my first backup and then it will occur according to my schedule for the next backups. It takes some time for the backup job to complete and that concludes the vSphere data protection installation guide. This was CloudJockey.me. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.